Welcome to the channel everybody, today I have something new and it's Out of the Park Baseball 19. The developers over at Out of the Park Developments reached out to me and they gave me a code to check out the game and share it with you here on the channel. So today we're going to dive into the game and see what it's all about. But I've always been interested in this series, being a sports gamer and especially a fan of games that give you a lot of control over the management side of things. And while there's still a lot for me to learn within Out of the Park 19, I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far. And we're going to check out a new game in here today. But essentially, Out of the Park Baseball is a baseball sim where you control like the entirety of your team there's so much control in this game and one of the cool things here when you first start is that you can set up your game to include different baseball leagues so you could run your major league baseball team and then get players from other leagues around the world and that is really neat I'm going to set up a game here with the Minnesota Twins and I'll show you a lot of the stuff that you get to do in this game you do have the option of using historical rosters from all the way dating back to 1871, so you could really do a lot of cool things in here with historic rosters, but I'm going to go with the standard 2018 rosters. I'm excited about my twins this year and some of the moves they've made this offseason, so let's get into here and see what it's all about. Now this is more of kind of a text-based simulation, but there are some other graphics, and when you get into games, there is a little scene that you can see of games being played. If you are interested in purchasing Out of the Park Baseball 19, there should be a link down below that can take you to a page where you can buy the game. It's for PC and Mac, and the game is regularly $39.99, but they launched the game with a 10% discount, so it's $35.99 for now. The link down below should be an affiliate link of mine, so if you do purchase the game, I will get a commission based on that. Just being forward with you all that they did give me a code to make some content here and show off the game. But I will give you my full opinion of what I think of things in here. So I'm going to set up my manager here and you can choose the role that you want. Manager, general manager, you know I want to be both Minnesota Twins. Or you could start unemployed and work your way up through the minor leagues. And if I had a better understanding of different things in here, I'd like to check that out sometime. So you could go and start wherever you want, essentially, the Australian Baseball League. They have six teams here, but we're obviously going to keep it here in the majors with the Minnesota Twins. Let me make my manager quick. Of course, got to go with Leon Daniels. He's ran so many of my teams, and they've done pretty well in the past. So let's stick with Leon Daniels here. You could play in commissioner mode here, which allows you to edit other teams and to just customize names and stuff like that. I'm not going to do that, but I will put on cannot be fired just in case that things don't go well for me here. Still learning the game, but there's a lot to like here. All right, now we're actually into the game now, and there is a lot of information here about the team. Here in the lower right-hand corner, we can see that we're kind of in the middle of the league in terms of our budget. We do have our player payroll as 14th highest in the majors. We still have some room if there was a move that we could make. I'm not sure if I want to make any moves here at the beginning. And our owner expectation right now is that we play close to 500 ball, which we should be able to. The Twins were a surprise playoff team a year ago, and they only made the roster better in my eyes. Why don't we take a look at that roster? Alright, so here at the team homepage, we have all of our information. We'd show our rankings here if we had played yet, the standings for our division, and then our primary lineup top prospects and how they're doing they have you know the deep minors in this game so it's not just like triple a and double a we have rookie league single a ball and other stuff that i'm not even familiar with you can see all our different affiliates right here it's pretty cool i like that amount of control and so i think once i understand a little bit more about what i'm doing i think i'll really be able to uh enjoy this game to the fullest but i really liking things so far here is the roster though and it's showing our different rosters. We have the active roster, the 40 man, and then our affiliates in the minor leagues. Let's start with the majors. Here is our current active roster, and it has everybody's morale. There is a morale system in the game. Why don't we just check on one of our top players here? Where's Jose Barrios? 
When you click on a player, you get all their information, their personal details, salary, their morale, and this is kind of what goes into the morale. You can see their health status. And then for ratings, they base it on a 2080 scale. I've never actually understood why baseball does that, but 80 is the best. So we see for Jose Barrios here, he has very good stuff and the potential could be very elite for him. Curveball is one of his best pitches. Changeup is pretty good as well. Barrios is one of the best young players for the Twins. He's only 23 and he should be, you know, hopefully the future ace of this team or at least one of the top of the rotation pitchers. On this screen, you can kind of see more of what you do financially for the team. And there's a lot here with your budget information. It'll show your attendance charts and you can handle the prices of tickets. The more I learn about this game, the more I am impressed with the amount of detail in some of the decisions they allow you to make and the control that you get. Here are our salaries, and this is a really good way to see who's under contract for a long time. You have a lot of players who are on one-year deals that you renew or go to arbitration afterwards. And then the Twins in real life have a, a lot of players in the last year of their deal. So 2018 is a pretty critical year for them. And we're going to try to see what we can do this year for them. I'm just going through some menus here and you can see who has the top catchers in the major leagues. And you can go through all the different positions here. There's so much depth you can really get lost in these menus for a long time. I want to get to opening day, however, so let's get us ahead to our first game against the Baltimore Orioles. Twins tend to open on the road because target field usually isn't even playable this time of year, but let's get into it. All right, who to make our starter on opening day? Jose Barrios, the young phenom. We have Lance Lynn, who has just signed. Jake Odorizzi. I think I'm going to go... Ah, I don't know. I want to go with Barrios. Let me go with Jose Barrios here. I have a lot of uh, confidence in him. We'll go Lance Lynn, Jake Odorizzi, then Adalberto Mejia, and Kyle Gibson. Here in the bullpen, the closer this year is going to be Trevor Hildenberger. And I like a lot of the options it gives you here because in a game like this, you're probably going to end up simulating a lot, but you want to have some control over what happens. So Addison Reed is arguably the Twins' best reliever right now, and you can have the option here so that he is used more often than others. And that's exactly what I'd want here, and that was actually the default. It also has Taylor Rogers here as a lefty specialist. So there's a lot that you can do here. Duffy is our emergency starting pitcher. And then for the lineups, you can also choose how often you want certain players to start. And you can focus on, you know, the young guys that you want to get development so they can get better as a player. A. Ray Adrianza is one player that I do like. He is currently scheduled to play if the starter gets tired. So it can be about stamina and their energy or it can just be you know we want him to play every so often just because but i'm just going to get into opening day now there's still some stuff i have to learn in here but let's get into a game now i'll sim some other games afterwards but we're going to play opening day and see how the twins do against the orioles all right so like i said jose barrios will be on the mound for us here is our starting lineup we're facing a righty and kevin gosman and Logan Morrison's going to hit cleanup here. He has great home run power. That's a nice lefty bat the Twins added this offseason. And let's get into it now. Start the game. So once you're in the game here, you also have a lot of control over how you experience this. Obviously, it's kind of like a text-based thing, but there are some 3D animations, which they added a lot of new stuff here, including the ballparks. But... You can choose to experience this in a lot of different ways. So we're just going to go with the standard one right now. We have Byron Buxton up. He is leading off for us. And then they give you some text-based play-by-play here. That's kind of cool to follow. 51 degree day, 12 miles an hour on the wind, blowing in. And Byron Buxton ends up striking out, which is something the Twins hope he can avoid a little bit more this year. Then we go to Joe Maurer, who was in the last year of that large contract that he got 
a number of years ago, and Maurer's going deep to left with this one, and he's going to open the season with a home run. All right, Joe Maurer puts us on the board just like that. So that's one way you can choose to follow the in-game action, and I thought this was kind of cool. I remember, you know, watching some of these at school with the webcast. So you can choose to follow the game this way, and we have Sano going deep to right. Oh my. We'd have back-to-back -back home runs in my very first game here with the Twins. Not a bad start. I'm a great manager. Your controls are down here, so you can choose, you know, how you want to strategize. You could go pitch by pitch, but I like to go a little bit quicker here. Shows win probabilities. That's the classic webcast. You can also go to uh, the 3D view like I was in, or this is one 3D view, and then the modern 3D view is kind of the default. So let's keep going here. Can we get any more runs? Now we have Logan Morrison. If I wanted to slow down this at bat for if it was like a key at bat late in the game, I could go through and see how every pitch goes. We'll go back to one pitch mode now and have him swing away. And he strikes out. So Gosman, two home runs, two strikeouts against us, and we have more power here. I'm not used to the Twins having this kind of power in their lineup. And Dozier's going deep, and he goes out again! That is three first inning home runs. I've played through some games here, I've never had this happen. And there isn't like a difficulty I changed to make sure that I was, you know, obviously amazing at this but we have three home runs already in one inning so there's a nice lead for our young pitcher jose barrios i want to see him hopefully have an all-star season this year as adam jones will reach base now say i want to sim a little bit more time we can do that until there's a runner in scoring position the whole half inning let's do the whole half inning and they get one hit and that is all there is some different information too you can pop up you can have a pitches widget over here you can take this stuff out if it's just in your way and you're not really following it there's also scores from around the league with what is going on how are the yankees doing oh they haven't started yet um, i'm scared with that lineup especially because the twins when they do make it to the playoffs they always got to run into the yankees and that's really annoying because i've never seen them actually win the wild card game last year was fun for about a half inning. We have a strikeout here again. Gosman's getting some strikeouts. Let's take that one off. How's the weather? Is it changing? Nope, still the same. If I wanted to, I can go into the game log and see exactly what's going on in each at bat, pitch by pitch. You can go to the box score here and see all the numbers. I'm a big stat geek in sports games, so this is like perfect for me this game's a good fit i knew it would be i'm glad i'm checking it out now and i appreciate the developers reaching out to me and giving me the code here is a fly ball out to right and we're gonna make the catch there so we are a couple innings in what are we one and a half innings in three nothing twins and then we have a strikeout here jose barrios i want to sim until let's go until the third inning hopefully nothing bad happens for us and top three, okay, no more hits. Offenses have completely quieted down. Here's Byron Buxton with a fly ball in the left. Want to see some more ground balls from Byron so he can use that speed. We'll skip to bottom three now. Jose Barrios, you can see his numbers right here. Two innings, two strikeouts, no walks. And then a ground ball. That's a pretty routine play. Oh, but it looks like he's safe. Good speed. A 2-2 count here, and there's another strikeout for Barrios. He does have a lot of good strike up, strikeout upside, and the Twins haven't had much of that in my time as a fan. But we close out this inning again with a double play and keep them scoreless. All right, let's skip until... Let's go into the fifth inning here. The Orioles do have another hit, but still no runs. We have Max Kepler up now for the Twins, and he's going to get a base hit for us. All right, now there's a runner in scoring position for Jason Castro. And one of my goals this year that it was given to me was to upgrade at catcher. But how about Castro with the double to left, putting us up 4 nothing? 
Here is Buxton's information. He's 0 for 2 on the day. We see all of his important ratings. And then Kevin Gosman is probably going to get pulled out of the game pretty soon. His stamina's here in the middle. And he's kind of getting shelled today. He does have five strikeouts, but we have destroyed him with three home runs and a double strikeout, though, for Buxton. That is disappointing. Hopefully, we can get another run on the board. Here's a fly ball in the shallow center. And that's also caught. So, no more runs for us. How's Jose Barrios doing? We have him here. The pitch count is at 65, so we're doing all right. Still, he could probably go seven, eight innings if this keeps up. And hopefully no runs come home for the Orioles, where they do get a base hit into left. Here is the 2D camera. Just different options for you. This one, obviously, not as impressive as the 3D one, but it looks like another base hit. Or, no, that was a catch. I wasn't even sure how that one worked exactly. But yeah, you can really tailor this experience to what you're looking for. And that's what I like, just all the options. I could see me actually doing a series on the channel here. If I were to do more of a rebuild, it wouldn't be with the twins. We got it. That's Byron Buxton. Thank you very much. And keep in mind, there is a pretty decent wind here. So without that wind, that's probably a home run. But we keep our lead the way it is. Let's go. I'm going to focus on our pitching now. Our hitting is doing fine, so I'm going to worry about pitching, and I'm going to manage that side of things. Barrios looks like he's not having much of a problem today. I knew he was the right choice for opening day. His pitch count is a little high, though, and I should have somebody warming up right now. Let me take care of that. All I have to do is go over here to the bullpen, and why don't we get Addison Reed warming up? considering he was the big addition the Twins added this year. One of them for the relievers. This one hitting to right center. We got that one, I think, or not. Is that going to be an error? No, it must have just bounced right in front of him. So that's a double for Adam Jones. I really need to get Barrios out of this game probably, but hopefully he can finish up this inning. We need one more. Oh, we hit him. So you can really tell that stamina is probably becoming a big factor. I was not at all worrying about the, the bullpen quite yet. But we do get the strikeout, so we should be good to go then bottom seven. Okay, now we're going to start warming up. Let's get Trevor Hildenberger. Maybe not yet. Just in case, we'll go with Fernando Rodney, another new addition. But I want to get Addison Reed into the game. Very good stuff. Slider is excellent. If I wanted to, I could even check out his contract here in the game. It is a two-year deal for Addison Reed. I could do some scouting on him. You can see, you know, I guess how his career is going. It has a scouting report. He's a reliever with a seven-year career. Three-pitch mix, slider, average changeup, good fastball. This stuff is so cool. What's his history here? Shows all of his transactions. So if you want to know how a good matchup is for you in game, so you want to bring in a pitcher to face, you know, a powerful left-handed bat, you can see if you can bring in the right guy based on all these ratings. So let's put in Addison Reed and continue this game. Just got to go to the plus button here. Put in Addison Reed. Good day's work for Jose Barrios. Hopefully get him the win. And let's go. Addison Reed's Minnesota Twins debut begins with a strikeout. For Trey Mancini. Oh my, that's hammered. Deep by Chris Davis. Buxton watches it go over the fence. There's the first run for Baltimore. They actually have out hit us now, but our hits have counted a little bit more. Uh oh. Was that a bunt? He's gonna reach, it looks like. Uh oh. Or never mind, we got the out there. A little confused by some of the action here. And then a weak fly ball. And he has that one as well. Why is our offense completely silent ever since the beginning of the game? I thought we'd score like 10 today. There is a bunt, and we're going to get the out. Baltimore now with a runner at first. And here's Adam Jones. And he is going to look at strike three. One more to go. And that is going to foul territory, or not quite. That's another hit. This is a little trouble here. 
Fernando Rodney is tiring. Addison Reed. Maybe we should put in Rodney right now. And I should warm up Trevor Hildenberger at the same time. All right, let's go for this one. Why don't we go pitch by pitch and see how Fernando Rodney can do. Who do we have at bat? Manny Machado. Oh, no. I have an open base. I should probably use it. Let's pitch around him. Actually, I might just want to play this safe and intentionally walk him. I did get a strike one, but I'm nervous. I don't want to lose this lead here in my first game. So now we have Trey Mancini up. He's one for three on the day. And now we're going to go pitch by pitch. It does slow down the experience a little bit. But for this key at bat, I think it's worth it. First pitch is a changeup that he misses with. Then Rodney. Uh-oh. Ball two with bases loaded. Rodney. It's a 3-0 count. What's going on? Okay, right down the middle for a strike. Please? He walked him. The Orioles now. Down 4-2. This is my first game. I don't want to leave a bad first impression here with my twins and we do get strike one then we have Chris Davis at bat oh man and a foul okay make him swing at something and strike three Fernando Rodney saves the day um I just skipped to the bottom of the ninth and we had a pretty good top of the ninth now I missed it so why don't we go to the box score and see exactly what happened Looks like a double from Logan Morrison, and then Robbie Grossman comes in. He doubles. We get a double then from Jorge Polanco. All kinds of runs here. We have a bunch of doubles, a few singles, just an incredible inning. Seven runs on seven hits. We're still going to give Trevor Hildenberger the ninth inning. Actually, I'll just sim until the end of the game. Twins win it. And you get a little story here. The 2018 season is off to a poor start for the Baltimore Orioles. The Orioles fell to the visiting Minnesota Twins 11-2. Jose Barrios wins the coveted Player of the Game award. And then here is the box score, or the line score. We have Byron Buxton striking out three times. We struck out ten times as a team. Three RBIs for Miguel Sano, three for Jason Castro. You can see all the doubles we hit and the three home runs. So that was pretty cool. Jose Barrios goes six, six Ks, five hits. Just used too many pitches, it looks like. And so we can exit that game. Oh, I like this menu here. The Meet the Team page gives you a lot of good information. And right here, you can see all your starters. Where are they ranked overall? Jason Castro is the 25th best starting catcher, it appears. But Brian Dozier, second best second baseman. Then you have our top players over on this menu, our top prospects. Royce Lewis was their top pick last year. He's down with the Cedar Rapids Colonels in the Midwest League. And once he plays, I can check out what his game is all about this year. On this Major League home screen, you can see all the big news around the league. We have Bryce Harper. Three home runs on opening day? I know that he's good on opening day. But he hit three home runs in here. I mean, some of the simulations in this game are impressive. So here you go. Oh, what? Injury brings season to an end? Oh, that's not Manny Machado. I thought maybe he had gotten hurt in the game that we played. All right, let's get back to the Twins. I could do a real-time simulation and follow a game that way, it looks like. I want to auto-play until a specified date. I want to go until April 2nd, because that's when we play our series against the Pirates. So we'll just sim the opening series and see how the Twins do over that stretch. And we start out the season 3-0. Perfect for Minnesota. Jason Castro with our best batting average so far. We have Byron Buxton's gone yard already. Our primary lineup here doesn't have a set six spot, so if I filled that in, it'd be more complete. And Joe Maurer, he's hitting well to start the year. So is Jason Castro. Jorge Polanco not hitting as well as you'd hope. But yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in this game. We have a win now for all three of these starting pitchers. Looks like Odorizzi didn't even allow a run in his outing. I can see his 2018 game log and just look at all his numbers like this. 
five and a third innings, six hits. Not the best outing, but it was solid work, and our bullpen cleaned up the rest. So there you go. That is my first look for you here at Out of the Park Baseball 19. Again, thank you to the developers for giving me the code and allowing me to check out this game and share it with you all here on the channel. And again, there's a link down below if you want to purchase the game yourself. Again, it is $35.99. That's the current sale price within their launch window, and that lasts until the 29th if you wish to buy it. So let me know what you thought of the video. Is this something you'd like to see more of? I would like to go through a season here with the Twins and then kind of go from there and maybe start up a, a rebuild of some sort. But let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all next time. Have a great day, everybody.